Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I did a little shopping at Sephora. Sephora just had their spring sale, so I took this opportunity to stock up on some foundations for my Foundation Fridays, and I got the new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So I was very excited to review this for you guys today, and then I opened it and realized it's too dark. I got the wrong shade. So come back next week for that review. But I also got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I haven't used a powder foundation in years. I really can't tell you the last time I used a powder foundation. So I really wanted to try this one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm on the Fenty Beauty website right now. Here are all the different shades. Just like the regular foundation, there are 50 shades for all. This is supposed to be a buildable light to full coverage. I agree. Long wear, we're gonna test that. Light as air, true. Crease resistant, oh, okay. Sweat, humidity, and crease resistant. Won't settle into fine lines, clog pores, or cake up. Reduce the appearance of shine. Yes, your oily girl me needs that one. So this one cost me $36. It's a pretty small compact, 0.32 ounces, if you wanna compare it to something that you have at home. Really cute packaging. You lift it up, has a nice little cushion, and then your color is right on the back. So let me go back to show you how I got to this point right here. Let's begin. I'm looking like a glazed donut. I have all my serums and moisturizers on. I'm trying new things. But let's start off with the Fenty Primer, which I bought a long time ago. This is the Matte Pro Filter. And hopefully this will keep my very oily skin matte. I do recall that the new Matte Primer was better for me than the original um, Fenty primer. So if you have oily skin, there is a difference between the matte and the regular. The regular didn't really do enough for my oily skin. But this one was good. And we're primed. So now let's try the new Fenty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I don't think I've used a powder foundation since like Bare Minerals when I had severe acne and I was just like afraid to even put foundation on my skin. So I'm excited to try this again and see what a powder foundation does. Medium to full coverage for all, light as air, flawless filter effect. So let's do a little split test and see how flawless I can look. To apply the powder foundation, I'm gonna use a very like dense brush. This one's just by Revlon because I like a little bit more full coverage. Here we go. It feels so weird putting powder first. This is usually my last step. And like not wearing a foundation, like that's gonna be crazy. Coverage is good there. And this is the color 360, which is the same as my Fenty foundation shade. So the numbers do correlate there. Wow, very matte. I think the color works. Wow. Would you look at that? Before, after. It does give you a very just like filter look. So you don't see every single pore and imperfection. It's a more even coverage. It feels very lightweight because it is powder. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey at all. I don't even know if powder can do that. But coverage was pretty good. Maybe I'll add a little bit more to that blemish. So it is buildable to get the desired coverage that you want. There is a very impressive split test. I love the natural look for this. This is probably good for just like a quick leave the house. You don't want a full glam face. Something that I really should practice, especially now being a mom. So I don't always have time for a full face, but let's keep going. Wow, that looks very, very nice, natural, and extremely matte, just how I like it. So I am personally happy with the 360 color, the matte finish, and the coverage, even though it's only a powder foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead now and finish the rest of my face. And there you have it, my full face. This is my second time trying this foundation. I used it yesterday. I wasn't a fan yesterday, but more because of the concealer that I used with it. I've learned that with a powder foundation, you gotta keep things light and airy, just like your foundation. And I used a really heavy, kind of like cakey, full coverage concealer. So it was like way too much harshness on my concealer 
to then blend with the foundation. So today I actually used the Rare Beauty Concealer, which is much lighter, and I think it did a good job at like blending into the foundation. Still maybe could have used a little less, but I'm happy with it. I did decide to keep a very soft glam. I'm not wearing any lashes today. I'm not even wearing any eyeliner. I did put on my Fenty highlight and I did a little wing, but that's it. So I have to run some errands today. Right now it is 12.37 p.m. So I'll come back at the end of the day after a full day of running errands and show you how well this matte powder foundation lasts on my oily skin. Will it crease? Will it get shiny? We'll find out. And I'm back, it is now 8.25 p.m. What time did I put on this makeup? Was it like 12.30? If so, that's about eight hours of wear. And I also realized I really put this foundation to the test because I've been wearing a mask all day. So that's definitely gonna have to be a whole wear test in itself, a mask wear test. So let's take a good look. I'm a little shiny around here. And where my mask was, there's like a little bit of um, makeup missing here and like right by my nose where my, my mask was. But I mean, that's literal cloth just rubbing against your face. That's kind of hard, but I guess it'd have to be like smudge proof for that to be okay. I feel like the coverage is still there, but I am pretty shiny and it did kind of rub off on my cheeks where my mask was. But let's do a little blotting test. I have my Rare Beauty blotting sheets. So let's see. I really should have done a whole series on foundations that last through masks. Has anyone done a mask wear test video series? I would have thought of that in like March 2020. Would have been genius. I guess I could still do like a mask wearing series, but I'm hoping that we're at the tail end of this pandemic. So uh, hopefully it'd be a very, very limited series. Here's my blotting sheet, the oil that I picked up. Not too much foundation on there, so I don't really see a lot of transfer actually. But, hmm, what's going on here? This has to be where my mask was, yeah because the mask goes right around here. So where I put the mask, it kind of came off on my nose. Huh. But if I didn't have a mask on all day, the upper half of me does look really good. <laughs> so what do we think? What have we learned from wearing a mask? Has it been protecting your makeup or making it worse? I know mask knee is definitely a thing. I know a lot of people that just actually put on makeup just from here up because why waste the foundation if no one's gonna see it? But overall, I'm not mad at it. So I don't think I would wear this foundation for like a full eight hour wear if I want like a full coverage look all day. This is definitely more of a quick, easy go-to run somewhere, come back after a couple hours type foundation. I do like having a much lighter option, especially a powder foundation. And let me know if there's any other powder foundations you want me to review. So I do like this foundation. I would recommend it, especially if you have oily skin. I like how matte it is. It is very buildable. I'm probably gonna try this with different primers, see if it works even better with maybe a different primer, but it's cool. But let me know what you think. Have you tried the Pro Filter Matte Powder Foundation yet? Let me know your thoughts. What is your favorite Fenty foundation thus far? The Pro Filter Matte, the Pro Filter Hydrating, the Pro Filter Powder Foundation, or the new Ease Drop? One of my errands today was Sephora, so I did get the correct shade, but I did get the new Ease Drop Blur Skin Tint to try next. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that video. I post foundation videos on Fridays for my foundation Fridays, and then I post curly hair videos on Sunday. If you want daily content, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.